quad. Quad. <gasps> quad. Quad, the cheapest quad, and I'm giving one of these away for free. Brand new, it's free to enter this giveaway. Just watch the entire video. I'll randomly sneak in the instructions for how to enter this giveaway so that only those serious about winning will enter. Before we upgrade the f out of this thing, let's appreciate what a smoking deal this is out of the box. For $1,600, the KO EA110 is large enough to fit an adult without the bars hitting their knees. It's got dual suspension in the front and a monoshock in the rear. A rear disc brake, two front brakes, a front bumper, rear handle, beefy tires all around, adjustable headlights that stare into your soul, an active brake light, parking brakes on the front and rear, key ignition, thumb throttle, kill switch, reverse gear with an indicator light, an integrated display showing your battery level, odometer, and speed. Under the seat, there's plenty of room for applesauce and other snacks, and a key that selects between low and high speed. So if you do put a kid on this, they don't get to select the power, unless they watch this video, so I'll tell them right now. Hey, don't touch that. My first reaction to this quad is who got fired for making the price this low? It's the same price as a stock dragster. This doesn't even have suspension. Before we upgrade it, let's see how it performs out of the box. Here we go. My very first ride on the quad. We're starting off with the top speed run. I'm full throttle. It says we're going 22 miles an hour. That, that seems accurate. Steers pretty aggressively. Good suspension. Put an adult on it, they're probably gonna want a little more speed, so we'll do that in a minute. But first, let's test the hill climb. Beep, beep. Nice. Super cushy. The suspension's great. And just like anything, when you're off-road, you don't need to go that fast and you feel like you're going fast. Whoa, here we go, come on, 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 come on. Uh, yeah, let me use my reverse. The reverse is great, because this thing's heavy. Oh, I can go around. It's actually got a lot of torque on the low end. This is the ultimate hill climb test. It's way steeper than it looks and the dirt's really loose. So anything that makes it up here is impressive. This will be a really good comparison between stock and upgraded. So here we go, three, two, one, go. Not looking good so far. Hey, it's crawling though, come on. It actually might make it to the top. It'll take about 20 minutes, but I can't believe it. We're way higher up than the pro spec made it. No! Oh! Two miles an hour. <laughs> it's moving though. This this quad weighs like 300 pounds. Okay, I'm impressed. Look how high we made it. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> this is so fun. I think if I go up at an angle, I can go explore over there. Hey, slow and steady wins the race. I'd rather slowly make it up than just stop. <laughs> I rarely, rarely feel like this about a stock, especially $1,600 bike or quad in this case. This is actually fun as hell out of the box. It doesn't even need, doesn't even need any upgrading. It's the same price as the Dragster. The Dragster has two wheels, no suspension. This has four wheels, lots of suspension. That's like, doesn't add up to how they made it so cheap, but we're gonna put some more into it and make it even faster. Hey, there's a Razor up here. Hey! All right, let's race. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Smoking the razor. Come on.
the quad is fully stripped, but we are keeping the stock motor. It's pretty robust and it keeps this build within budget. The next day my upgrades came. This is a new kit from Electron Co. and here's what's included. The little bit controller with the harness ready to go. Three power mode switch, battery leads, battery hardware, forward reverse switch, battery brackets, controller plate, already threaded, DC-DC 12 volt converter, power button, charger, and a battery plate. This thing is pretty badass. It's also threaded already, fully custom for this exact quad. And of course, the 60 volt battery. This is a brand new kit from Electron Co. and it keeps this budget build budget. It's only $899. This entire build's gonna be cheaper than the crazy cart. We're gonna start off by installing the controller with the blue, green, and yellow phase wires, and then the positive and negative leads. Now using the custom controller plate, I'm mounting the controller and the DC-DC converter. It's just clean how they did this. Now we can start plugging in our peripherals. Power button, tail light, front light, other front light, and we still have three in case you wanted to add a horn or underglow or anything 12 volt. Now I'm plugging in all our harness connectors. Opening up this rat's nest, I can plug in our reverse switch and power mode switch. This kit keeps the stock lights, so I'm unplugging the two headlights and plugging them into our converter. And same with the tail light. We also keep the stock display. The only thing you have to do is change the blue wire to the red one so it can run 60 volts. That's gonna turn on our headlights and tail light. Battery plate goes in, battery goes in, and you just need to bolt on these hooks as well as the two brackets with their latches. Battery goes sideways, you adjust the latch, nice snug finish. I love this way of mounting a battery. It's gonna be quick to take it in and out instead of straps. Now I can remove all our unneeded wiring like the brake wires, the kill switch, 12 volt converter, control switch, and do a little cable management. Bars go back on, plastics back on. It's about 50 bolts to put everything back together. It's pretty involved. Seat, forward reverse switch, power mode switch, and boom, we are upgraded. Just gotta plug the battery in, make sure everything's running. Display's on, hit our 12 volt switch. Headlights are on, tail light, and using the app, I'm gonna select everything we need. It's already set up for this quad. I'm gonna turn the power all the way up, give it a little bit of regen, name it, enable the mode switch, and save everything. The app also acts as a display for the quad, so you can see your battery level, speed, power output, everything. We got raw out here. Jim. <laughs> yeah. I just have to jump right into a wheelie here. No way. Oh, this is like perfect. Oh. He rides out. <laughs> Fighting over shotgun. <laughs> Hey, thanks again for letting me sit in the front. Yeah, really bro, like respect your elders, right? <laughs> yeah. Parking brake. Ready, gentlemen? I'm hitting the top speed runs to try to keep up. Here we go. In the highest power mode. Full throttle, this is it. Nothing too crazy, but it's way faster than before. Not as fast as the e ride Pro, though. This feels so, so cool. I've never been like a quad guy. I understand the quad lifestyle already. <laughs> this thing's so capable. 
This <laughs> fucking drifts. I'm back. You can't stop me now. I'm literally just barely feathering the throttle, making it over. Here we go. Testing it fully upgraded. Three, two, one. Yeah, easy. Easy. I was I was expecting a little crazier. <laughs> I want to see you guys race to the top. You're our pro versus you're our pro. Three, two, one. Oh. No way, even with the with the late start, just make it a ton of top. Very close. Dude, I forgot him again. I don't know. <laughs> No. Let me find that throttle connection. This is like not cool for you, but uh... no. I mean, look, I'm the first person with this kit. I wasn't expecting yeah. it to be perfect. I'm just gonna unplug it. Yeah, you know what? Be careful with that. Be careful that if you plug it back in and the throttle is like doing weird shit, it could take off. Okay, that'd be the, that'd be funny the though. The controller will be. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Dude. You called it. Well, hey, that means it runs. So it's definitely a throttle issue. It almost went right off the cliff, dude. If I barely touch the connector, then it starts working. Dude, it's so fun when it works. Now it's working, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, ow. I fell on my battery ankle. Are the batteries okay? Yeah, there's a big rock. Should've worn gloves, what am I doing? It went from all soft dirt right to concrete and I fell right on the concrete. Oh shit! Mmm, thanks. Okay, we're back. No, I have a throttle in here. Bingo. Should work. Throttle other. Push the throttle for two seconds. Let's go! So I have the throttle, I just don't have the bolts. But I bet I do. gloves this time come on let's give this a run in the street <laughs> why does this wheelie really so easily oh i'm a quad guy this is sick bro oh, it feels one hand one hand no break come on <laughs> yeah this is so fun bro no hand no break on the seat <laughs> anyone trying to learn how to wheelie start on a quad this is a cheat code Yeah, bro. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> dude, are you okay? We're both good. What do you think, Jimmy? You want to wheelie it? I think you got it. Check it out. Yeah, give it a feel. 
Oh, he's already going straight for it. All right. Come on. You can leave that, that foot dragging on the ground. <laughs> you ate that shit, bro. Are you all right? Is your tailbone okay? That was, that was perfect commitment. You want to get it nice and high on that first one. Just one finger on the brake. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go, Jim. That was so good. I want to at some point. I want to take this and just practice. And yeah, I think I got to teach men on it too. I feel like this is better than those triangles, dude. You were up there. You went rap, boom, rap, boom, rap. You already know what it is. If you want to enter this free giveaway, all you have to do is follow Ride KO on Instagram. In two weeks, we'll pick the winner from their follower list and send out a brand new EA 110 quad. As always, thank you so much for watching until the end. As I do. Yeah.